Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here on this Saturday, finally seeing some snow across the Wasatch. This is Alta. They're reporting three inches um, overnight. I still think you could see potentially another three or four inches on top of what you've already got. But great to see that uh, that snow coming down uh, up there at Alta. Let's go up the road to the uh, the Tetons. Also seeing great snow. Uh, in the Tetons, notice uh, the snow there blowing around. Let me look at the uh, the temperatures here. They've all come down. There it is. Yeah, 14. So 8 inches in the last uh, 24 hours, 14 degrees on the summit. So as expected, the storm came in warm. A lot of uh, high elevation freezing levels from the Wasatch to the Tetons. And still the case in parts of Colorado. But now behind the storm... Uh, a lot of the temperatures are turning colder, pushing that rain-snow line down to lower elevations. This is southwest Colorado. This is uh, Wolf Creek, and they already picked up a few inches of snow. Uh, I was watching this cam earlier, and it was it was snowing. Looks like a break in the action right now. That's just the the initial part of this storm, sort of moving into Colorado. Better snow. I wouldn't say great, but better snow is ahead in Colorado this afternoon, tonight into uh, Sunday morning. Here's radar um, across the West. So a couple of things to mention. The big storm in California is over. All of the energy now is riding into the central and northern Rockies. Let me take you in closer. So here's Salt Lake, the radar out of Salt Lake. So we're driving that snow into the Wasatch right now. And also Brian Head seeing some snow. So that'll continue. We'll probably see a little bit of a lull in the action over the uh, the Wasatch, the middle part of the day. So I talked about this two-phase snow program for uh, for the Wasatch today. Last night, early this morning, lull, and then it may not stop altogether, but then it may pick back up this afternoon tonight uh, before it ends tomorrow morning up in the Wasatch and turning slowly colder. All right, Colorado, things just getting started here. There's that little bit of precip near Wolf Creek. Um, so some of this may start as rain up here um, in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Rain, rain, snow at the very lowest of elevations in the valleys. And then as this afternoon tonight wears on, colder air should come in with the front and we'll get um, those rain snow lines down to more reasonable levels. But we may see a touch of snow in Denver overnight into early, early Sunday morning. I don't think it's going to be much. Okay, let's look at the, um, the bullet points. Um, you know what, before we do the bullet points, since we were on the radar, let's do the forecast radar. So we'll start this up at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard today. So by 11 a.m., you've got some snow in Colorado, still some snow in Utah, definitely up in the Tetons, Idaho, uh, and beyond. So moving this ahead, there's 5 p.m. So by 5 p.m. Mountain Standard, your front still working its way through Colorado, um, still some snow over the Tetons, and a touch over the High Uintas, um, and still some over the Wasatch. All right, so th this is 10 p.m. All right, there's the second wave right there. Um, so this is 2 a.m. Mountain Standard on Sunday. There's that backside wave coming through the te through the, uh, the Wasatch. Still some snow there uh, in Colorado's mountains. And notice a little bit down here across Denver, west and south. I really don't have anything for northern Colorado. You're pretty much out of the... Um, the lifting flow. Um, so there's 5 a.m. Sunday, Mountain Standard. A little bit of snow there for Denver. Touch more to the west, more to the south. And then things start to dry out. And by 11 a.m., it's over. It's done. And look at the west. It's totally dry. I'll push this ahead. There's just nothing, right? I mean, this is there's 5 a.m. Tuesday, Mountain Standard on December 30th. We'll end it right here, 11 a.m., so 11 a.m. Mountain Standard, Tuesday, December 30, and there's absolutely nothing across the West with high pressure. All right, now to the bullet points. Reiterating a lot of what I was talking about. So in the Wasatch, you've got kind of the two waves. Some light snow, light to moderate accumulations continuing this morning. A little less during the midday, and then it may pick up briefly this afternoon, tonight, and do tomorrow morning. 
Um, and again, maybe another up in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, another three, four inches on top of what you've already got. An interesting contrast for Alta. I did a little bit of looking back at the records. Um, <coughs> let me take off my, uh, my video here um, so you can kind of see this because I think it's blocking it. There we go. So you look back at Alta. Last year on this date, season to date snowfall, 132 and a half. Season to date this year, 62. So compare the two numbers. Exactly one year apart. 50% difference, right? So the snowpack is half of what it was last year at this point up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Half. 50% less. That is a stark difference in just one year. The snow that we pick up in Utah and Colorado in December is vital to the entire season. It's hard to um, underscore, you know, it, roughly it accounts for about 20% in Colorado uh, of the entire season snowfall. And when you X out that 20%, it's really hard to make it up. So you, you never want to fall that far behind. Looking at the 15-day snow, Mammoth, I've got about two feet on the way over the next 15 days. Vail, about 16. Snow mass, more. Park City, about 16, pretty much in line with Vail. Um, Alta's got about 30 coming over the next 15 days. Here are your best odds of accumulating snow for Colorado, Tahoe, Tahoe, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Interior, BC. So for Colorado, you've got your best odds of snow coming this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning, with potentially moderate accumulations. I was tempted to say light to moderate, somewhere right in there, moderate. I think there'll be places that pick up four, five, six, seven, eight inches. Um, and then your next shot comes one, three, one, four with moderate to heavy accumulations. Um, you can see the other numbers here. It's going to be a bit of a wait for interior BC with new snow coming one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, uh, let's do a time height. This is snow mass ski area. This really gives you a sense of the battle, and this is what I was talking about. I was like tempted to go light to moderate for Colorado. And you're looking at a slice through the atmosphere over the next three days. This is the current time, and you move in this direction into the future. There's just not much here. So this is the inbound storm system for Colorado. This is, again, the snow mass and across the western slope. This is just a teeny tiny little area of green here. It's not impressive. There's a little bit of lift. I mean, this might be enough to squeeze out six inches at Snow Mass, Aspen, Buttermilk in the Highlands, Crested Butte. It might be. Um, any hopes of heavy accumulations? I just don't see that happening with this type of setup. There's a brief tower right there, but quick. I mean, look at all the dry air in the upper atmosphere up at, you know. 18 to 20,000 feet, 23,000, it's totally dry. Um, and then you've got qu a quick slicing uh, in as the wind backs in behind this thing with very dry air. Okay, let's go to the uh, atmospheric pressure anomaly. So this is 1228 on Sunday. There's our drop in pressures with that trough and that front swinging out of Utah and into Colorado, through Colorado at that point. This is the first of the new year. So this is New Year's Day, Thursday. High pressure ridging across most of the west. Game over for that point. Um, lower the normal pressures, cold and snow in the northeast. Here's the third phase. This is 1-4. Yesterday this looked very impressive with a big trough coming in. There's still, to some degree, a trough with, with lower than normal pressure swinging into the west. It's just not as impressive as it was yesterday. I hope this happens. This would still represent cooler, colder than normal temperatures and a chance for snow across the central and northern Rockies. Let's do a comparison on that date. So for 1-4, uh, I showed you this. This is the operational. Now AI, eh, it's kind of similar but much weaker. This would be your drop in pressures here. 
much stronger drop in pressures up in the northeast with higher higher pressures building in here. So AI, nah, not as strong. Here's total precipitation over the next five days for the west. Um, so initial storm right there, continuing today, tonight, into tomorrow morning. And then the next storm right there, uh, hitting California. And that happens somewhere around, what is that, the first second? I can take you back and show you what the timeline is for Tahoe. Yep, 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, with heavy snow accumulation coming. And you can kind of see that late right there. There is some additional precip that comes in. Here's a 10 to 1 snow forecast, same time period for the west. Again, some snow today, tomorrow. And then here comes that storm around 1112 into California. You can see these the colors flare right there. Um, so a bit of snow, deep purple would be six inches, at least six. We've got that over parts of the Wasatch, Little Cottonwood, Big Cottonwood, and over Colorado. Um, let's look at the southwest. Total precip over the next five days, as if everything fell as rain. Um, a little bit initially, and then here comes that 1112 increase in moisture. All right, this is Colorado um, over the next five days, 10 to 1 snow. So storm inbound right there today, tonight, tomorrow morning. Tiny bit of snow. The trend on Denver has been down, less snow. Yesterday it looked like a one to three. Today it looks like kind of a zero to two with basically nothing in northern Colorado, maybe an inch over Denver, one to two west, south sides of town. Um, up over the, again, deep purple's at least six. Bright pink would be about a foot or more. There might be a foot up here around Rabbit Ears, Steamboat, Buff Pass, at the higher elevations, maybe. And then down here over Wolf Creek, looks like a pretty good shot of snow. My forecast. All right, so today through the first. So grand totals by the close of business on 1-1, one, one, essentially. I got 1-4 to four here over the Sierra. A little bit, a tiny bit left over, but most of that probably comes in during this period on 1-1. One, one. Um, over the uh, the Wasatch, uh, potentially another three to four on top of what you've already got through Park City, Snow Basin. Uh, not Snow Basin, but Park City, Deer Valley, uh, Solitude, Brighton, Snowbird, and Alta. Less up in Snow Basin, Powder Mountain. Maybe four in Bryan Head. In Colorado, moderate across the I-70 corridor with four to six inches through Summit County, Vail, Copper. Loveland, Winter Park, A Basin, Keystone, Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass, Powderhorn, potentially six down here over Wolf Creek. And there's that, that spike of brighter colors up there around Steamboat. Uh, throwing out a foot here, maybe six to 12 there at the resort, maybe, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 up around Buffalo Pass, Mount Zirkle Wilderness and rabbit ears. Four to six up here over the Tetons. Uh, three to four up here in the parts of Montana. Uh, I don't know, a couple inches in Idaho. Not a lot up here uh, in interior. Again, it's more of a waiting game up there and not a lot for the Pacific Northwest either. One to three. Okay, so that's period one. Here it is, period two. So this is one, two through 1-5. So all the way out to the 5th. So grand totals between this period, 1-2 to 1-5. So that next storm that comes in, 1-1-1-2 one, 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 uh, in the Sierra drops about a foot, maybe a foot and a half of snow accumulation. <laughs> Not bad in the, the Wasatch, but these numbers are way down from what I was showing yesterday. But still looking at the potential for a foot Somewhere around there, 10 to 12 up at Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, Brighton. Uh, 6 to 8 there through Park City, Deer Valley. 3 to 6 there, Snow Basin, and over to Powder Mountain. In Colorado, uh, 6 to 12 at most resorts. Um, especially deep right there across the western slope where you see those brighter pinks. Maybe another 6 to 10 up here over the 
um, the Tetons. So between period one, right here, I've got four to six. We'll just say six there at Jackson on period one, another eight. So we're looking at over a foot of additional snow on the way. Six to ten there through Idaho, looking good. And uh, 10 to 20 up here in the Pacific Northwest. Good to see that. And even a little bit down there in New Mexico. Um, it's been a tough tough run for New Mexico. Out of the flow. All right, let's go to the northeast. So your five-day rolling snow accumulation, most of the storm track is right through here. And there's a problem. Um, let me just take you to my forecast. There's a problem area right around... 1229. There's a spike of warmer air that comes in and may turn the precip over to rain, rain, snow at many of the base areas of the ski areas. So that's going to cut down. So I did shave the numbers down a little bit as, as a result of 1229, but these grand totals um, should be seen by late 1-1. Uh, close the business on 1-1. Um, the bigger numbers up here, Jay Peak and Snow Ridge. Snow Ridge might have a little bit of lake effect. Um, Mount Washington, and then everybody else is in that sort of three to six inch range through the rest of the Northeast. All right, guys, let's end on the big Western map here. Uh, so this is period one, and then here's period two. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. On this Saturday, take care and have a great day.